Um, well, hello again. Um, I actually have the best job today because I'm going to take my eight minutes to tell you exactly how great you all are. Um, and uh, I'm going to do that because uh, NCGA was interested in the last, has been interested for the last couple of years in quantifying uh, the impact that you have on your communities. And so we, um, we contracted out to have a study done. Um, the study was done by a group called the ICA Group. It's not related to the International Cooperative Alliance at all. They're a firm out of Boston. Um, they took a whole bunch of data, uh, quantitative data that we've had over the years, plus we had our NCGA member co-ops fill out uh, a really extensive survey. Um, and, uh, and the results are what we're gonna share with you. And I'm actually gonna make this really easy. We're gonna start out with a short two-minute video uh, about the results of this study. What's to love about food co-ops? Where do I start? Co-ops have a cool way of doing things differently. Co-ops are people working together for better food, stronger communities, and a healthier world. And the food? Amazing. All it takes is one visit to a co-op to know this is where you find great tasting, nutritious food, along with earth-friendly household and personal care products. But did you know? Co-ops are owned by consumers like me, not investors. And I'm proud to be one of the 1.3 million members nationwide. Because at co-ops, I can find meat that is sustainably raised and a ton of delicious organic produce. Mmm, Honeycrisp apples. Co-ops are super recyclers of plastics, cardboard, and food waste. Great for Mother Nature. The average co-op purchases from 51 local farms and 106 other local producers. I love my local farmers. How about a little comparison shopping? Compared to other grocers, co-ops work with more local farmers and producers, carry three times more locally sourced products, donate more than three times as much annual income to charity, and sell far more organics, whether it's produce or other products. Co-ops spend more on local wages and benefits than conventional grocers, which means they can pay employees nearly a dollar more an hour. And more of their employees are eligible for health insurance. That's what I'm talking about. Co-ops spend 38% of their revenue locally, while conventional grocers only spend 24%. And for every $1,000 spent at a food co-op, more than $1,600 is generated in the local economy. That's one and a half times more money in your local economy than if you spent the same amount at a conventional grocer. So why do I shop at the co-op? Because fresh, delicious food is just the beginning. Um, the full version is available, uh, and the, actually the complete uh, ICA group study is available on our consumer website. It's uh, www.strongertogether.coop. Um, there's also the full video, um, uh, some materials on, uh, you know, if you just want quick uh, key points that came from the uh, study, that's available there too. But I'm actually going to take a moment and talk about some of the highlights. There are more uh, highlights than I can possibly share with you in a lot of time, but I did want to share some of the ones that we thought were particularly cool. So the number of farms from the, uh, that the average co-op purchases from, uh, the number of local food producers uh, that the average co-op purchases from, really impressive actually, 106. Local purchasing, I was not surprised to see uh, the amount of local purchases in produce for our co-ops, but I was really amazed at the amount of local purchasing done in some of these other areas. Um, deli, meats, um, dairy, um, even bulk, I think that's a pretty impressive number. Uh, overall, co-ops are buying about 26% of their goods locally compared to about 6% for conventional stores. Um, so uh, this is a, a, something our general manager at Mississippi Market used to do. This is a dollar bill representing $1 sales at, a, at an average co-op. 62% of that goes to the cost of goods. Then 23% is going to go to labor as compared to 15% at a conventional grocery store. 13% goes to uh, additional things, uh, other expenses, marketing, that kind of thing. Um, and when all is said and done, about 38 cents of that dollar is going to support the local economy as opposed to 24%. And that includes labor, of course, but is going as opposed to 24 cents um, uh, in conventional stores. Uh, labor includes benefits, by the way, on that. Um, the average member spends over $1,000 a year. Um, the local economic impact. 
is uh, $1,600. That's uh, almost $250 more than from shopping at a conventional store. Um, and the next big number is the co-op difference. Uh, this difference is the difference between the total economic impact from co-ops and conventional. Put another way, for a conventional store to have the same impact as a co-op, its sales would have to be 21% higher, roughly $2 million to the, the average co-op $10 million. Um, and so, you know, these numbers are pretty staggering when you see them one after another like this. Um, if you want to see what percentage of our sales go to support organics, co-ops are doing about 48% versus 2% in terms of organics. Um, the proportion of uh, produce sold by a co-op that is organic, this is an a unsurprising number for me, but it's still impressive all the same, 82%. Uh, the proportion of meat sold by a co-op that's sustainably raised, 89%. Um, so let's talk about fair trade. So uh, the sales for fair trade items per store uh, in a co-op compared to conventional, it's pretty amazing. Uh, we did a, a big piece of this study had to do with labor impact. Um, and so I'm only going to share a quick one here with you. The full study goes much more into depth than this, but just look at the wage differentials um, for average uh, co-op versus average conventional store. Um, it might not seem, and in some areas it might not seem like, like that much, but overall the impact is uh, pretty impressive, especially in this really tight economy. Every, every cent is counting here. Um, recycling rates, I like this one. Actually, this is my personal favorite. Um, so food waste, um, the conventional stores, 36% recycling rate for food waste, for plastics, 29%, for cardboard, 91%. 91% is actually pretty, I'm kind of impressed with that from conventional stores. But let's take a look at what co-ops are doing. Um, in terms of compost, uh, we're looking at uh, 6.7 million pounds uh, estimated total compost. Uh, this is based on a composting rate of 34 pounds of compost for every uh, $10,000 in sales. Uh, the net change in emissions from composting 6.7 million pounds is about 2,459 metric tons. Um, the next slide is going to talk about carbon sequestering. Um, so carbon is sequestered by um, about 17,333 tree seedlings grown for 10 years. A cardboard recycling, the amount of energy saved through cardboard recycling, it's enough energy to put uh, power in almost 1,000 households every year. Um, I'm going to, I don't know if we actually have time for questions, but I will take them um, at the break for sure. There's a couple other things that I wanted to point out about this study. Um, this study is actually representing only about three quarters of the NCGA members. Um, so not uh, all of the co-ops, uh, I was here overhearing one co-op yesterday who was looking at the posters in the back which are representing this and saying, our wages are higher than that. I know they are. Um, and these are averages across the broad spectrum. So that's entirely possible. Um, but I think one of the things that, um, you know, one of the things that I'm really happy to be able to present this here for is because um, it's really important and to uh, measure your impact at your co-ops. This is on a national scale. These numbers are great. We're happy that you share these with your members and your shoppers, and there's a lot of resources to be able to do that. But we really think it's important for you to also measure your impact on your communities and to talk about that impact. Um, to market that impact and to really let your shoppers, your members, and your community at large know that the co-op difference is so much more than the products that we carry. And, uh, and so thank you very much.